The energy is giving people here early to Christmas shop and like they're here for sales and they're here to throw hands if you take the last Lego. Good morning! <coughs> Yikes. Good morning, you guys. It snowed! It's a winter wonderland and it is making my heart explode. I am so happy. It hasn't, it never feels like Christmas until there's just like a little snow. There's like nothing worse than on Christmas because we've had them before here in New England because it, it could go either way. We've had Christmas days where it's like 50 and like muggy and <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. So let's just pray to the snow gods, the Christmas gods. Please let it be a white Christmas. Please don't let it be 50 degrees. It doesn't feel right. But right now it is absolutely perfect. And it's like we only got like, I don't know, maybe two inches, but it's just enough to cover everything. I will show you guys. You can see a little bit up on the roof. Anyway, good morning. We are up and out today. Um, I am heading out to the mall to get more toner from Lush. And I wanna see if they have any fun Christmassy products um, that I can enjoy in the shower or whatever. Uh, they always have really, really cute Christmas products. And the mall I'm going to, they also have a Torrid. So I'm gonna run in there and grab some more underwear. Uh, I, I have like a pair from there that I just love. They're like my favorite underwear. They're like the 360 smoothing ones. They're just like so soft and smoothing and the perfect amount of high waisted. I just love them. But right now I'm kind of between a two and a three at Torrid. So I'm just, I should probably just buy a two, I guess, right? I don't know, this this is definitely a weird time to navigate, but I do know a lot of you guys have been asking me if I'll do a closet sale um, as things don't fit anymore. Absolutely, I know you guys love to shop my closet, so I got you. Um, as I am you know, not fitting in things, I will go ahead and upload them onto my Depop. I'll link my Depop so you can just follow it, and I don't know if there's like notifications or anything so you can see when I upload, but I'll probably post it on my Insta stories anyway, but. All right, let me show you guys the snow. Enough rambling. I know it's like not that much snow, but it is so beautiful. Ugh. It's just enough to make it feel like Christmas. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Okay, so I'm actually going to run into Sally's now as well because I never went yesterday. Um, just to grab a little blech, blech for my cousin's hair because after the mall, we're going to my grandma's to fix my cousin's little yellow moment on her blonde. So let's go to Sally's. It's also very bright. I forgot how bright the snow is. So we got what we needed from Sally's. I just got to the mall and I didn't know they opened at 11. I feel like in my day, malls opened at 10. <laughs> Maybe malls are not as popping anymore, but I see people going inside. Hmm. I see people entering. I'm gonna try to enter. It is 10.52. Let's go see if we can get into the mall early. <laughs> the energy is giving people here early to Christmas shop and like they're here for sales and they're here to throw hands if you take the last Lego. Crate and Barrel, please sponsor me. All right, well, we're in the mall, so see if any of the stores are open. Maybe they open early for the holidays. I just love malls during the holidays. It's just the best, like you have to go to the mall and see all the pretty Christmas decorations. Well, Lush used to be right there, so it's gone. Yeah. Glad I drove here. <laughs> this is like 40 minutes away. It's my closest Lush, and it's closed. So, 
Gotta get my underwear at least while I'm here. But we can at least look at the pretty Christmas display. Okay, wait, I might be stupid. It might be upstairs. I thought it was downstairs, but <laughs> I just double checked and now it says upper level before it said lower level. All right, let's go check upstairs. <laughs> All right, first stop, Torrid, which is right down here. Ooh, oh, I love anthropology. I wish it wasn't so expensive, but they have such cute stuff. And they have really cute plus sizes too. Oh, look at it, so pretty. Cute little holiday undies. I don't think they have the microfiber smoothing underwear here. Oh, this might be a fail of a trip, guys. Yeah, they don't have it. <laughs> it's online only, okay. Okay, so <laughs> they don't have the underwear. Let's, let's hope that the Lush is on the second floor and somehow I just missed it. <laughs> you guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> Lush coming in clutch to save the day and Sephora. I don't need to go to Sephora, but oh my God, I'm so happy. So fun. accomplished I was tempted to look around but again I shouldn't be buying clothes right now so um, we're gonna head over to my grandma's house okay wow <laughs> oh it is so good we got here early because it's a mob scene <laughs> it's a mob scene now you guys I kid you not like every spot is full even like way to the back and the mall just opened 30 minutes ago crazy i know it's the holiday season but like what is today isn't it like a is today the weekend no it's thursday i don't even know <laughs> i don't know anymore oh i had like a hot flash <laughs> what is you doing baby are you doing a u-turn right there Oh my gosh. I am really happy though to see malls doing well because I don't want malls to die. I know everyone shops online now. I shop mostly online, but malls are so nostalgic. Like they're such a sentimental place, you know? Like Yara and I, when we were watching Stranger Things, we were like, oh, like it's just such a nostalgic time. Like when the first mall opened and it was just a place where you hung out and it was just such a magical, I don't know, it's nostalgic, maybe just for my generation, I don't know. Maybe the youths, the Gen Zers don't give a shit about malls, but I, I love malls, especially around the holidays. So I know Yara and I want to do um, a shopping day at the mall at some point, actually, so I don't know. I know he's, he's taking me on a little trip for my birthday, too. 
So I'm very excited about that. We're gonna be celebrating my birthday early, um, like within the week before my birthday. If you're new here, I was born on Christmas Eve and every year I host um, a Christmas Eve party for my family. Like we've always had Christmas Eve parties, but I've been hosting them the last few years. So, you know, I don't really celebrate my birthday on my birthday. Like my family that comes over will celebrate it with me. But in terms of like, you know, my husband, we celebrate it early so we can like actually do a little something, which is so nice. So he's been planning a little trip and I'm super excited. I don't know much about it, um, but we're going to be going away for a few days. So that'll be fun to take you guys along on that journey. But I will do a little lush haul when we get home. But for now... I am going to my grandma's house. All right, y'all, so from like here to here, she was a little bit yellow on her new growth, and we wanted it to be the color of this platinum at the end, and it's looking really good. Maybe we'll leave it for just a few more, because in my experience, when you think it's done, it always needs just a few more minutes, but it is looking much, much better. Yay, we did it, guys. Now her little blonde is all the same. It's all that nice. <laughs> ashy platinum. Yay! Very exciting. <gasps> oh my god! Batteries. Mimi, you gotta get the batteries. I was just thinking about that the other day. I'll go get them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you got a height, Max. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's just trying to put the batteries in. <laughs> Do you want me to take him, Maxie? Oh, what? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe they they triple A. Oh, they don't fit. Mm. Oh. <laughs> sweet niblets. Sweet niblets. I've been saying sweet niblets lately. I don't know why. Like cheese jerky. Remember that? Was that from Hannah Montana too? Yeah. Oh, I don't cheese remember. jerky stands. Oh yeah. yeah. Let's go get the other package. Oh, oh, oh. Ho, ho, ho. Clap activated. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm glad I got to see him work. Yeah. Oh, no. Ho, ho, ho. How long have you had that, Mimi? Like 10 oh, years? My God. He is, he's like kind of afraid of it. <laughs> Normally he would like devour it. Really? <laughs> Does it not work? There it is. Bye, Greta. All right, you guys, I am home from my grandma's house, so I thought we could wrap up this vlog with a Lush haul. I am so excited. I love Lush. Like, I really just mm, love it. All right, so first up, I got a few shower bombs. So I grabbed this really pretty sparkly bell. It smells so good. Then I got um, mm, a lemony one to awaken me in the morning. And then I also got this sparkly pink one. Oh, this was one of their holiday ones. It's so good. So for my toner, I ended up just grabbing one of the biggest sizes they had. Ooh. <coughs> Ew. I use it every morning and every night. I'm like, why don't I just buy the bigger one so I don't have to come as frequently? And it's good until next November. So, got that. Then I grabbed, oh my God, I love like a pepperminty, kind of tingly feeling in the shower. It's like, that's one of the biggest reasons I love Pureology um, shampoo and conditioner, the one in the purple bottle, because it's just like cooling, pepperminty, tingly. So this is basically that in a shower gel. Let me sniff it. it smells so good. 
Mm, it's just like cooling, freshen up with this tingly minty gel to keep you cool in a steamy shower. So it's called a dirty spring wash. So I've never tried that, but it seemed great. I also went ahead and I want to try these creme de menthe mouthwash tabs. Um, they're also sparkly, which is really fun. How do they work? Pop a tab in your mouth, take a sip of water, nibble on the tab and swish it before you spit out. So really cool. Um, this would be kind of great, like even to keep in your purse, just these little tablets. And then I also got more tingly peppermint, tingle body conditioner, a breath of fresh spearmint with nourishing muru muru and shea butters to condition. So I grabbed a nice mm, tingly peppermint body lotion. And I also wanted to try a moisturizer. So I got the Vanishing Cream Moisturizer. I just got a small one to try. The Lightweight Lavender Cream. It disappears into oily or blemish prone skin, which is me. So I'll let you guys know how that is. Another peppermint item. <laughs> this is foot lotion. So I am so, my hands and my feet are so dry this time of year. So I love to put on a nice foot lotion with socks sleep in them or wear them around the house and your feet are so soft when you take them off. So it's great. So I grabbed this peppermint uh, foot lotion. It smells so good. Peppermint is just so holiday to me. It's just like that candy cane energy and they had so much of it. Oh, and one more mint. Oh my God, so much mint. The last thing I got is mint julep lip scrub. So just some lip scrub. They have awesome lip scrubs. I'm kind of bummed. I thought they would have Christmas ones and they didn't, but... That's fine. And the cool thing is with their lip scrubs, you can lick them off after. I was due for this because everything is just so, so dry. It tastes so good. It's like minty sugar <laughs> mm. and it leaves your lips so soft. And I'm gonna throw on some peppermint candy cane chapstick. I love it. I love minty, minty everything. So there's my little Lush haul. I'm going to end this vlog here so I can edit it and snuggle up for the night. So, okay, phone is ringing on the computer. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.